ask one of the foods that Minnesotans, you know, know decently well. Our state kind of known for it. Mm. But would you want your house to smell mm. like it? The smell of lye. Mm-hmm. Well, so welcoming. This little guy right here, New Brighton Woman, has created this, a Lutefisk scented candle. I like the nostalgia of Lutefisk and my great-grandparents would make it at holidays and the scent just brings it brings you right back to those times they sure do that's christian <laughs> johnson she started selling her pungent candles on her website and at a few stores around the area a couple weeks ago she says they make the perfect gag gift <laughs> emphasis on the gag a friend of mine bought it for her father for his birthday and she gave me the feedback later that, oh my gosh, my dad loved it. He just couldn't quit smelling it. He just loves Lutefisk and this was so fun for him. <laughs> well, she plans to introduce other Scandinavian themed candles, including Swedish meatballs, bread and butter pickles, okay. and of course, tater tot hot dish. Now those I could get on board with. And now it's a time, tater tot Kelly, hot dish candle. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm such a gentleman. I'd like you to go first. Oh, how kind of you, Tom. Get your nose no, right really, in, it really should be you. Get your nose right in there. I don't want to get. Should we do it oh, together? You don't even need to get too far. You don't need. I can smell it right. Oh, now. good lord! Wow. Oh boy. Okay, my <laughs> my eyes are watering. That that she's not kidding around. Wow. We're gonna put that back here and get it wafted <sighs> out of here. That she. Wow. Mm. That's a wow. That'll it's that'll that'll do it. It's lingering and it's been gone for 15 seconds. Oh my.